how did it go? You were right, my friend. This new body of mine is incredible. I feel like I could do anything. Yet you ran away from Shadow and his companions. That was simply so I didn't waste all of my power on them. What would have happened if I had lost? He could have easily smashed this ruby. Besides, you told me yourself to leave the killing blow for you, remember? <sighs> yes, I remember. I have waited centuries for this day. The day that I would finally erase his existence from all timelines. Well, you kept your end of the bargain. So whatever it is you wish to do next, I will assist you. All of that waiting will finally pay off for the both of us. The only factor that remains are the Chaos Emeralds. Speaking of which, did you gather them for me, like I asked you to? Almost. I gathered all of them, save for two I could not find. Oh? And where could those two possibly be, I wonder? I may have an idea. I'm listening. Iblis was released not too long ago. Is that so? How do you know of this? Simple. She and I used to be one. Even after she took up her humanoid form. I can always tell where she is. However, Half an hour ago, her spirit suddenly disappeared, and she couldn't have been sealed away either. Otherwise, I could sense her new vessel instead. So, the time has come, then. What? Bring them here. All of them. Them? You mean Shadow and his friends? No. Not just them. All of them. Your friend seems to be taking his time dealing with Metal Eggman. Wonder if he's okay. He certainly won't be once he gets back. I promise you. No! But it wasn't Sonic's fault! Irrelevant! He still failed to save her highness from danger, and thus must be judged in full. If you really want to get all pissy with us over what happened, I can take you on if you like. Ha! Huh, you? Fight a royal knight like myself. I'd very much like to see you try. Enough! All of you, stop this nonsense at once. Oh, I mean, your highness. You must understand that they- Not another word, Gustav. And don't call me that either. You know full well that I am no ruler. I'm not ready. Whether you are ready or not is of no concern. The fact of the matter is what our highness, what Elise, had entrusted to you. You are the heart and soul of this kingdom. And I must now continue to carry on my role as its sword, as well as its shield. <sighs> Sir Gustav, sorry about trying to pick a fight with you. I think we're all a bit on edge, all things considered. I'll see. <sighs> no, it's quite alright. I must extend my apologies as well. Neither of us were prepared for this day. I knew it could happen at any point. Not like this. So, what are we supposed to do now? <sighs> I'm unsure. I do know that I will need to prepare a ceremony for Elise. The kingdom undoubtedly will need time to recover from their loss. I doubt they will accept me as well. I don't think that's true. Sure, this is all so sudden, but you're part of the royal family, right? Surely the people of Soliana will understand. That is true. Retainers we may have been, our bloodlines have long since mingled with House Asterius. We would indeed need time, though, to quell the fears of the people. Tails, Knuckles, I know I have little right to ask this of you, but will you help us with rallying the city? 
There is little the military can do after their losses, and Dorothea and I must sort out documentations. Of course! You can count on us! But what about Sonic? I harbor no ill will towards him. Despite the results, he is a man of honor. We will converse with him personally when the time comes. All right. Hold a moment. Huh? huh? Everyone, run! No Jeez, that took way too long. Ugh, I'm all sweaty. That should be the last of them, right, Omega? Affirmative. The spirit's energy has been depleted. However, the voices seem to have run away. What a damn coward. He talked such a big game. But he runs and hides the moment he starts losing. I doubt he got that far. He seems serious in finishing us off. Most likely, he's in hiding, plotting his next move. Omega, can you increase your scan rage and see if he's still in the area? What do I look like? A refrigerator! Of course I can. <laughs> You're doing okay? Aside from having some freak do whatever the hell he wants with my future self's body, yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. For what? Back there. Well, I've never seen you scared of anything, Shadow. So I kinda got a bit nervous that we wouldn't make it out of here. Plus, well, you called us Family, did you really mean that? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? Well, well, well. I like this side of you. You should open up more often. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. And we're back to normal. <sighs> oh well, it was fun while it lasted. Warning! Warning! Sudden spike in Phantom Ruby energy detected. Evacuate! Evacuate! Damn it! I beat that monster! I avenged Elise! So, why do I still feel this way? No. I know why. Because I'm angry at myself for failing to save someone again. <sighs> Fastest thing, thing alive, alive my ass. ass. Ah! I, I hate this feeling. feeling! Wait a second. Is that... Silver! And Amy's there too? I wonder why. Yo! You guys! I, is that you, Sonic? Sup, Amy. Long time no see. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I was looking for you for the past few days, but I couldn't find you. Sorry. It's... Kinda not a good time to be catching up. I know. I heard what happened. I was with Silver the whole time. Whatever went down, Sonic, you need to know that it wasn't your fault. Amy, I, I know you're trying to help, but don't start that, okay? Not right now. I'm sorry. Nah, don't be. I'm just beating myself up. I'll be fine. In any case, though, Silver, how did it go? Were you able to take care of Iblis? Uh, did something happen, buddy? Actually, where's your friend? Blaze, right? I don't see her around. Sonic, that's... What? Gone. Wait, what did you just say? Ah! She's gone! No. Not your friend, too. Damn! What is with this? Why does this keep happening? Blaze used herself as a seal for Iblis. 
Though after that, I have no idea what happened. There was this noise, like someone singing, and then she just faded away. Silver, I'm so sorry. I really am. Iblis was my fault. If I was faster, then I... No! Don't say that! It was my fault. All of it. I should have never come back here. I caused all this death and destruction. Hey now! Both of you, chill the hell out! Stop beating yourselves up! None of us could have predicted any of this. And we all did our best, that's what matters. So, just stop, okay? Amy... <laughs> it doesn't matter anyways! <laughs> I don't even have a reason to go on anymore. <laughs> Gold's dead. Place is gone. Even my own future can't be saved. I... I'm so alone. All alone. Hey, hey! Listen, I know I was just being a downer a few minutes ago, but I don't want to see you get like that too. And what's with this talk about being all alone? I know it's not the same as your future, and we can't bring your family back. But... you can always start over, you know? I know we all just met you, but I don't think anyone will have an issue with you sticking around. Yeah! Sonic's right! I mean, you and I are already friends, Silver, and I've got to introduce you to everyone else. R really You let me stay here? The future's always set in stone, right? Maybe you were always meant to be our friend, Silver. <laughs> you saying it was fate that brought us all here? <laughs> That's so cheesy. Shut up! I'm trying to cheer him up. <laughs> See? I told you it was cheesy. You even got the kid laughing. Th That's still a victory for me. At least I got him to laugh, Debbie Downer. Debbie what now? Thanks, guys. I mean that. You're right. I was planning on staying in this time anyway with Blaze, but... Having a bunch of people by my side sounds great, too. Friends. Actual friends. I can't believe it. Yeah, man. I told you. You didn't actually kill me, so we're good. Though, we should probably get back to Castletown first. I have to let Gustav know that Metal Egghead got trashed. Metal what now? Oh, for the love of... I'll explain on the way there, okay? Jeez, if I have to catch one more person up to speed today... Oh, leaving so soon? And I even brought gifts for the welcoming party. That voice! Is that... What the hell are you doing here? Mephilus, you look... different. What's going on? Such rudeness. I was searching everywhere for you, and this is the welcome I get? You failed me, Silver. Failed? You mean killing Sonic, right? Don't make me laugh. It's your fault. Everything is your fault! Is it no? I am not the one who killed your sister, yet you feel the need to place blame on me. I told you that, through me, you would discover the truth. Tattered as you may be, was this little adventure of yours helpful? Not another word! That's my line! I don't know who you are, and I don't care. You're about to get bent, freak! <laughs> What the hell? If I may finish speaking, that would be nice. What? What are these? I can't move. Let me go! These spirits are just a mere fraction of the power I now possess. All thanks to you, Silver. Oh, and of course, the other you, Sonic. There you go again with this other you crap. 
You wanna talk? Fine. But you better start explaining shit. Why, thank you. I will. Oh, but first, we need to wait for the rest of the audience to arrive. Audience? Any minute now. <laughs> On. Now where am I? Oh, come on! Give me a break here! Did I really just go from being captured to being captured again? Yo, Eggman! This is you this time, right? <sighs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Glad you can hang around after all. I miss that stupid mustache of yours. Eggman sighted, initiating overdrive, readying all known weapons. Ah! Error. All non-default settings are offline. The dark energy must be to blame. Eggman, you will be destroyed after I am freed. Whew. Sonic! So, this is what his next move was. But why are we gathered up together like this? Shadow! What's going on with Mephilus? Why does he look like that? Kid? You're still here? Mephilus has fused with Shadow's body from the future. Ergo his altered appearance. What's going on? Why are we here and who is that thing? Mephilus. Hold a moment, Dorothea. What did you just say? It's Mephilus! Iblis! No! Elise's brother! The brother <laughs> I'm surprised you remember me, Lady Dorothea. After all, you were only a child when I was confined in that container. How could I forget? You killed everyone in that lab. If it wasn't for you, Elise wouldn't have... Died? Nonsense. Iblis is a god, just like me. Eventually, she would have betrayed you when she lost control of her power. Silence! You have no right to speak ill of her, you demon! Call me whatever you like. It doesn't matter now. My friend and I have already won. It's over. Your friend? I think it's about time you told us who this friend is. I agree, Shadow. I've been hidden for far too long now. The time has come. <gasps> Who's that? Why does he sound like Sonic? Danger! A second Phantom Ruby is materializing from an unknown point of origin. Phantom? No, he can't be! Another, Another Sonic? Sonic? Wow, for once it's not me that's being copied. I've... Never seen Sonic look so evil. It's you! So, you're the other Sonic that kept being brought up. That's only half correct, my dear girl. While I may appear as Sonic, that's not who I am at all. I've brought them to you as requested. I must say, you certainly know how to make an entrance. So you have. Words cannot express how bittersweet our reunion truly is. Reunion? Ah, why don't you start off with introductions? You know, like a normal person. Fool. I already know all of you. But now, I must waste time introducing myself all over again. What a pain. It's unavoidable, though. So I suppose I'll humor the notion. You may call me Infinite, in the brief moments that remain to you. Infinite? You're not serious, right? How edgy can you get? Sonic, Silver, this is the guy Tikal warned me about. She told me there was another Sonic that possessed a Phantom Ruby. Phantom Ruby, huh? I thought that gem on his chest looked familiar. Yeah, and Mephilus has one too, but... How is this possible? Did you earnestly think that the ruby Julius possessed was the only one? Fools! 
You may have managed to destroy one, but you didn't destroy them all. There's more of them? According to Infinite, yes. Though we already have most of them. How? Do you know about Julius? And why do you look like Sonic? Did you do the same thing Mephilus did to Shadow's future self? I'm impressed. You are correct. And not unlike my subordinate here, can you guess where I acquired Sonic's body from? The future? Clever girl. Right again. This indestructible body of mine comes from a time far from now. So, both of you are using the bodies of Sonic and Shadow from the future? I don't understand. What future are you even talking about? It can't be the kids. Sonic's not immortal like I am. Did I give you permission to speak? Huh? Shadow. You would be wise to silence yourself now. After all, it's your future self's fault that all of this transpired. And the very reason why I'm here. Huh. Hey, uh, Shadow. So, how many people did you piss off exactly? I've lost count. How should I know? Even if he's telling the truth, it must be me from a different timeline. Right? You want answers as to why you've coerced your own destruction? So be it. I will offer you at least that much. Mephilus should have informed you on how the flow of time functions, but I will summarize it. The flow of time is a constant. Fate is unavoidable, and the events of the future are always set in stone. However, should one travel to the past in an attempt to defy that fate, they would change the future of that timeline, but not their own. Silver's dystopian future will always remain that way, as Iblis was released onto the world with no one to contain her. Had Silver succeeded in killing Sonic, for example, he may have changed this world's future, but not his own. His sister and the people who died would never come back. They would only be born again when the time comes, unless a drastic alteration occurs. But what does this have to do with you? <laughs> Simple. Approximately one year or so from now, Dr. Eggman will discover a phantom ruby. With its power, he will almost completely take over the world. Wait, really? Oh boy, I can't wait! And that is when he and I first met. Me? You heard me. <sighs> How did I know this was Eggman's fault? Taking over the world too? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Reminder that this will not happen if I kill him where he stands. Hey there, this isn't the time for that. In the original timeline, my family and I were known as the ultimate mercenaries. We lived off the land. We hunted human and Mobian kind for payment. It was the only way we knew how to survive. We had nothing. Nothing but the squadron. Every day was a struggle. The morale was always low. But that's when I met Eggman. He offered me the one thing I needed to make a better life for my family. Absolute power. No one agreed with me. They all hated serving under that fat bastard. I didn't blame them at all, but I only needed to work under him until I could become stronger. Fat bastard! But my hopes were shattered one by one, starting with that fateful day. Infinite, come in this instant. Do you hear me? Reporting. What happened? The other members of Jackal Squad are responding. Go find them right now! What? Understood. Over. <coughs> Finiti, this is Infinite. Do you copy? <coughs> Finiti, do you copy? <coughs> Damn it! No! Void! Somnia! Abyss! Where the hell are you guys? Pick up! <coughs> what the 
hell is going on? Why aren't they picking up? What happened? Where are you? Vanity! No, hold on. I'll. Don't bother. Their signals have disappeared. I'm afraid they're gone. Gone? <laughs> Who did this? An old annoyance of mine. Shadow the Hedgehog. Right now, he's trespassing through the forest. I wouldn't be surprised if he killed them. Shadow. He'll pay for this. Now don't you go dying on me too, do you hear me? I'm not in the mood to clean up any more messes, and I already have my hands full of the fallen squad members. I won't stop until I kill him, Doctor. He'll pay for what he's done! Did you even hear anything? I just... I found you. You. You took everything from me. Now I'll show you why they call me the ultimate mercenary. Die! Impossible! Is that all? I'm disappointed. It's not even worth finishing you off. Go die on your own. Why did you spare me? Come back and finish me! Don't leave me here by myself! You took away my only reason for living! What am I supposed to do now? The power I have is useless if I'm all alone! I hate you! I hate you! No! How horrid. This is the first time I'm hearing this story from you. You were right. You and I are more similar than I initially thought. What kind of future is that? That doesn't sound like Shadow at all. I may not know him as well as Rouge or the others do, but Shadow would never needlessly kill people like that. Think what you'd like. Shadow may be different now, but that doesn't undo what he did. Or should I say, what he'll eventually do. Man, this version of Shadow sounds like a monster. So, if what you say is true, then all I can do is apologize for what I did. Is that why you came back? To prevent me from killing them in the future? That would only change this future though, not yours. So then, why here? And why do you have Sonic's body? Why? The old timeline no longer exists. I destroyed it, along with every living being on Earth. What? Are you insane? There's no way you have the power to destroy a universe! Stop pulling your legs! You don't believe me? I can show you, you know. This phantom ruby contains my very soul is how it was able to transfer my body. Just like how Mephilus did. Let me project to you what happened after Shadow robbed me of everything. Through Phantom Projection. <laughs> I lost my will to live. And as such, I discarded whatever mortality I had left. I had Eggman roboticized me. And thusly, I carried out any and all orders I was given, including acts of subjugation and genocide. With my help, he almost had completely taken over the world. That is, until all of you stood against me. Hey! That's me! And... me as a kid? 
What the hell is going on there? While my phantom rupee could create illusions of your adversaries, no one could have predicted your past self would discover time travel. We almost won this drawn-out war, but I was defeated by the two versions of you. <laughs> really? Two Sonics is what got the better of you? And yet here you are, acting all high and mighty. Unfortunately, before I could try my hand at them again, Eggman discarded me like garbage. At first, I didn't care. I accepted my fate and awaited the end. But something inside me changed while I sat at the bottom of that abyss. I could hear my family's voices and the cries of everyone that I've slain calling out to me for revenge. And so, I climbed my way out of that abyss, only to see the war was still going, this time spearheaded by that metal copy of Sonic. I hid in the shadows and continued to study my phantom ruby. Eggman neglected to rid me of it after all, and that's when I discovered the power to travel through time, as well as transfer my soul into the ruby as well. Eventually, the war came to its conclusion, and metal was destroyed and the resistance disbanded. That's when I made my move. No! With this new body, and the seven Chaos Emeralds, I had all the power I could ever ask for. No one stood a chance against me as I massacred everyone and everything! But, no. That wasn't enough. It didn't satisfy the emptiness I still felt. That world had nothing left for me. And so I used the emeralds in tandem with the ruby to travel to the pass. While a black hole was left in the aftermath. What kind of monster are you? All of those people. Why? People do not value their lives. Every day they create creatures like us to take life away from others. You're both insane! What do you have to gain from all of this? Insane? You all claim to be just, yet your hands are stained with the same blood you vilify us for. How is that not insane? I did that world a favor. Eggman was going to destroy it anyways if I hadn't done what I did. And now hold on there. Why would I destroy the world? I'm trying to conquer it. I live on this planet too, you know. Eventually, you would create a virus that turned everyone into Zombots. It worked. A little too well. Had it played out, they would have devoured you, alongside every living creature. The world being swallowed by the Great Abaddon was nothing short of a mercy. Either way, the world gets totally boned, right? That's great. Really? Zombies? Even I thought you were better than that. I did, don't blame me for the stuff the other me did! You still haven't answered my question. Why are you here? <sighs> I hate you. I want to see you suffer. I will accept nothing less than an absolute devastation. This isn't the first time I've time-traveled as well. What is all of this? Hey! Isn't that back when I first met everyone? And... that's Elise! But... she's alive? I have observed your lives. More times than I care to count. For my revenge, I wanted to know everything. Out of everything, what could I possibly do to destroy your spirits? And then I discovered exactly how. Through you. M me 
What did I ever do to... Wait. I know you. So, it all finally makes sense. This other Sonic was the true culprit behind Gold's murder. So Mephilus twisted the truth in order for us to kill the real Sonic. But why would he want Sonic dead? That's what I don't get. I don't either. But whoever this Mephilus guy is sounds like the big bad behind everything. Yeah. And if we find him, then we'll find Gold's killer, Silver. It was you! Mephilus was telling the truth! You're the one who murdered my sister! So it was me who killed her after all, huh? I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> you see? I haven't lied to you at all. The Iblis trigger was him the entire time. You bastard! Why? Gold never did anything wrong. Why did you do it? Tell me why! You never met your father, did you? Huh? Huh? All the people from your timeline blamed your father for the state it's in, alongside Iblis's rampage. But let me ask you something. Did you ever find it all? That no matter what you did, Iblis would never go away. What kind of question is that? Every day we were out there fighting Iblis to spawn. If you really are the Iblis trigger, then that's your fault too! Think for a moment, boy. Why did it seem like Iblis would always come back when you were able to easily seal her away in the present? Humans and nobles would always fight her spawn with no end in sight. It's almost like they were fighting a losing battle. Do you understand now? Your future never had an Iblis! What? What do you mean by that? I get it now. Amy? The Phantom Ruby doesn't just have the power to create illusions, but it can also change a person's cognition. Cognition? Basically, how someone sees something even if no one else can see it. Did you make the people of the future believe that Iblis was terrorizing them? That's only half correct. Iblis and her spawn were all illusions I created, thanks to Mephilus' influence. All I did was change the cognition of the people, so they would see each other as monsters. Humanity and Mobian kind caused their own downfall. They thought they were destroying Iblis, when they were actually killing each other. I... I... I think I'm gonna be sick. That's so horrible. How could you? Why? If you hate me, then why them? He didn't deserve any of this. Infinite, I think they've had enough. Wouldn't you agree? Impatient, aren't we? Call it what you will. I'm ending this charade. Damn it! Enough is enough! If I could just... Get free! It's... Too strong! Iblis may no longer be here, but I think I'll follow my past self's footsteps and eliminate you first. Oh, Sonic! No! I won't let anyone else die because of me!
What? No, you don't, Shadow. Your fight is with me! Why, you... Stay out of this, woman! Dorothea, do arms with this heathen! Agreed! Return to hell from whence thy came! <laughs> Why? Why can't I... I wasn't I fast enough to... Sonic! Don't! Sarah! Sally! Police! And now Silver! I can't see anyone! I need to become stronger! What's raw strength gonna do if you don't have the heart to back that up? Or did you forget that you were the one that told me that? Don't lose control again. We promised. Sorry. Getting angrier isn't going to solve anything. You guys go after Shadow. I'll take this guy out. Sonic. Don't worry. I won't mess up this time. Alright. Be careful. You two look like you can use a hand. Ever the Jester, aren't you? Took you long enough. We'll avenge Elise with the death of this imposter! Alright then. Time for payback, Faker. Enough of this farce! Sonic and his pitiful rabble! My only enemy is Shadow! I've come too far for anyone to stop my revenge now! Come at me all at once! I promise you, you won't survive! I don't know you that well, but you're gonna pay for killing that kid! An unfortunate consequence, yes. That attack was meant for Sonic. And that makes it any better? I have my hands full right now, so I don't have time to play with you. You can mingle with my spirits instead. These things are everywhere. Annoying, too. Is there no end to them? Looks like I have to get those energy things before they do.
with all of this power? Yeah! Come on! Was there ever any doubt? Allow me to test out this new body of mine, Sonic the Hedgehog. You steal my body, kill me and my friends, and then go back in time just so you can piss Shadow off? I don't know who's worse, Metal Egghead or you. What hope do you have on stopping me? I'm you, only better and more experienced. You may have my body, but you're nothing like me, buddy! All you are is a bully that gets pissy when he doesn't get what he wants! Enough talk, you filthy rodent! You may have bested me in my time, but I assure you I'll change that!
damn it all! Now you've truly angered me! Yes! Was incredible. <laughs> this is impossible. I have the same powers as you. Why can't I still beat you? Infinite, lend me the Chaos Emeralds. I can defeat them. <sighs> what are you plotting, demon? Give up, Infinite. Mephilus, it's over. Warning! The Shining Shadow is proving futile! Swift execution of infinite Mephilus will be nice! Kill! 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 You have lost. Now, come quietly, and we may be generous enough to grant you lifetime imprisonment as mercy. Lost? I... Lost? No, we still have that infinite. Did you forget? That. <laughs> yes, that's right. How could I have forgotten? You and your filth could never contain me. I need not this body to defeat you all. <laughs> What are you doing? Behold! The power of a god! Wait a second. You're not... <laughs> now, Chaos Emeralds. It's time for the final curtain call. So, Where are Mephilus and Infinite? Your Highness, are you alright? For the last time, don't call! <sighs> yes, I'm fine. What of everyone else? I'm fine, thanks for asking. At least someone cares about my well-being. You really need to make some friends, Doc. Who needs friends when I have all of you constantly bothering me? <laughs> Fair enough. Operating systems are still functioning. However, the same cannot be said for Shadow. Shadow? <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I let you die. Silver! <laughs> Shadow, you said that. That kid is your son? What? It makes sense, Rouge, given the circumstances. I was informed that this silver is from the future. On top of that, Shadow can't age either. Who's to say he didn't start a family sometime later in life? This would explain why my scanners were having trouble telling them apart. They emit the same energy as the Black Arms. You know, I figured as much. Still. 
He told me he never knew his parents. If only I'd said something to him. But now it's too late. God damn it! It wasn't your fault, Shadow. You know that. I... I know that. But... But I... Things to remain in this timeline. No use. Though your bodies may perish, I will guide your souls to salvation. Do not fear death. Endure, as a paradise will follow shortly thereafter. First he was after me, and now he thinks he's God? Infinite and Mephilus' personalities fused together when they became this version of Solaris. Since Mephilus was half of the original deity, I'd imagine Infinite is what caused the personality shift. We've got to hurry then! Sonic! Let's use the emeralds and- Not this time, Knuckles. Excuse me? But we've defeated all kinds of monsters before, Sonic. We even beat Nazo when we worked together! Tails? This is an actual god we're talking about here. I get the feeling even if we defeated him here and now, it wouldn't do anything. There's gotta be something we can do. She's, She's right. right. There, there is, is a, way. a way. Huh? That voice. She call? Hello, everyone. Long time no see. You're the robot echidna girl I met a year ago. But... How did you get here? Dark Solaris' power has made time and space collapse into physical locations. And because of that, chaos energy now radiates naturally from the Earth. So I was able to use chaos control to get over, despite normally not knowing how to myself. So this feeling I've been having ever since we were placed here wasn't just me? Correct. Though it won't last for much longer. Soon, Dark Solaris will collapse this timeline and everyone's existences will be erased. Sounds fun. But wait a minute. Since the Master Emerald is here, that means Shadow and I could fuse again. Unless you wanted another go at it, Knuckles. Nuh-uh. Not with you again. Once was enough for me. I'm afraid Chaos Fusion won't be enough either. Despite being a corruption of it, Dark Solaris still has the same powers as the original. It exists within the past, present, and future. So, if we fused, it wouldn't matter if we only destroyed him here and now. Sadly, yes. I'm sorry I couldn't be more helpful. Wait a moment, I got it! Then all you would need is to have three of you fight him at the same time! I agree, though I feel there is another catch to that. Only Mobians that can use Chaos Control can travel through time in this distorted space. My body is mechanical, so I can't do it. And the only two people I know that can use Chaos Control are Shadow and I. There was one more. Though now the notion is impossible. I know how we can bring that child back. <gasps> Wait a minute! You're right! But that's impossible. The dead can't be brought back to life. Knuckles, do you remember how you brought me back? Oh yeah! Care to share with the rest of the class, Knuckles? When I had Tails modify Mecha Knuckles' body, it effectively served as an empty shell. But my soul was fragmented after being sent to the other plane. So we went on a little journey with Knucklehead over here to gather to cause fragments into the Master Emerald. And that's how she's able to be here with us now. So, so long as there's a vessel waiting, and the fragments are returned, you could bring someone back to life. Exactly. Granted, a dead body is another story. We only have a short time before it becomes unusable. To call, you're a lifesaver. Why didn't I think of this before? Oh. <laughs> Jim, I mean, Mr. Omega, you said that Silver has the same readings as Shadow, right? Affirmative. Do you think you could scan his soul? I know that sounds weird and all, but... I have had seven signals of Black Arms energy emitting from various places for some time now. What? Th then why didn't you say something earlier, dammit? 
The information was irrelevant to the situation until now. <sighs> You're lucky we're friends, Iron Giant. So, what's the plan? Take the Master Emerald with you and gather up his soul within it. Thanks to time being stopped, his body isn't in danger of fading beyond the point of no return. But you must hurry before anything happens to his fragments. Gotcha. I'll go too. We're still gonna need a distraction. Hey, Shadow. How about we fuse after all? We may not be able to beat him as Shattuck, but we can buy everyone some time. You must have read my mind. Let's do it. We'll go with Knuckles and Tails, right Omega? Like I have anything better to do since I can't kill Eggman right now. The farther you are from me, the better. Gustav and I shall accompany you lot as well. It is the least we can do. Everyone. Thank you. I'll stay behind to lend Sonic and Shadow my power. What about me? Just go and give everyone support, okay? Yeah, fine. But this is the last truce, you hear me? We'll need to split up so we can cover more ground! Yeah! Then let's do this! Let's save our timeline! Silver, we'll bring you back! I wasn't there to see Chaos Fusion last time. This should prove to be quite educational. Like yourself, ever learn from your defeats? What hope do you have in harming me? All we got is hope, God. But sometimes, that's all we people need. Observing your endeavors in other timelines past have shown me the folly of your hope. Such redemption is beyond salvation for fear.
He's destroying the world around us with the Phantom Ruby. So this is how dangerous two of those things can get. Over here, you over-glorified cartoon villain! Mock not my powers, lest you be smote by me! Destroy an avatar of mine, the do nothing. My will will not be overturned. Multiple points in time have become physical places.
I recognize this location from Gamma and Epsilon's memory files. Though the reason for the fragment being here is illogical. The faster I find the shard, the sooner I can exact my revenge on Eggman. Returning to point of origin. Damn soul fragment!
There it is! Elise, I think that's it. Today, I shall prove my worth as a successor. I will save this boy's soul! It has been ages since I frequented the desert. I forgot how much I detest sand. Why is it that I tolerate the beaches of wave ocean, yet the sand of dusty desert irritates me? <sighs> Vexing question for another time, I suppose. That light is the fragment. Station Square's beaches make me nostalgic to when I first tangled with Topaz. A shame there's no time to relax. I've got to rescue that kid's soul. For Shadow's sake.
that it? Huh. Child's play. <laughs> Where am I? Come back to me, my child. That voice? N no! It can't be! Return the soul I have created. She can't hurt you anymore. She's dead. Mom is dead. Silver. The guy lost everything. And he sacrifices himself to save Sonic. I won't let you die like that. I'll save you. or something, because Westopolis looks worse than when it was invaded a few months back. For a second I thought I went into Troy.
Silver. Not another soul will be lost on my behest. This, I swear. Hopefully we can restore Kingdom Valley after this transgression. I'd hate to see it so needlessly tarnished. Aha! Uh -huh. There it is! I must make haste back to the others!
Mission accomplished. Only the best for her kingdom. Ah! You're all back! Does that mean you guys found them? Yeah, at least I think so. You got them right here. Hey, by the way, did anyone else have to suddenly fight someone from their past after they collected a fragment? So it wasn't just me then? It wasn't from my past, but I encountered Elite Iblis soon after. By that logic, it doesn't make sense. I never fought Iblis before, let alone had the displeasure of seeing Elise turn into it. It could have just been the fragments were showing us people we fear, or something like that. People we fear? I mean, I guess when I was little I was afraid of Metal Sonic, but not anymore. Yeah, and I'm sure as heck not afraid of Eggman anymore. Ha! Ah, I'd normally be insulted by the idea, but hearing that from you strangely makes me proud, Tails. <laughs> thanks. Perhaps it is a mixture of both. After all, my encounter was that of that odd demon that attacked us years ago, Dorothea. I am admittingly curious as to who it was you saw, Rouge. M me? No one. I didn't see anyone. Aww, you scared to tell us who Miss Super Spy was afraid of? I said it was no one! Alright, jeez, I was only teasing. Welcome back, everyone. Hurry, put your hands on the Master Emerald! Ouch! That's gonna hurt in the morning. We're out of time. We need help, now! <laughs> I'm not sitting around here! You, Echidna Girl, just bring that kid back to life already! Eggman? Might not have much, but I'll try to buy more time. Some of Metal Eggman's robots should still be around. I can gain control back from them. You know, it's almost scary how big of a heart the guy can have at points. The server's on. The Seven Chaos. Chaos is power, enriched by the heart. The Controller is the one who unifies the Chaos. I beseech thee, return thy lost soul from whence it came. Where am I? Is this what death is like? It's so, it's so dark, dark. and quiet. quiet. I, can't I can't see anything. See anything. <laughs> Here, Here I was, I was thinking, thinking that there, that was, there heaven was heaven and hell. 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 S S sister? sister? It, 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 no, 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 it can't, it can't be. be. Probably, Probably another, another illusion, illusion like last time. time. Illusion? Silver, Silver. do you not, not realize, realize where we are? are? Wait! So it is you! This time, gold? For real? Long time no see, little brother. Though, I can't say I'm happy to see you here. Gold! I'm sorry! I was just... so lonely. I tried to get revenge, even though you told me not to. Now look where I am. Is Blaze here with you by any chance? Mm -mm. I, I, I see. Silver, I know that life hasn't been easy on you. You probably think being here with me is a good thing. But you still have a life to live. Friends to be with. I saved someone's life, though. At the cost of your own, dummy. Silver, look at me. I lived my life how I wanted. Protecting, protecting you and Blaze as if you were my, my children. children. 
When I was killed, I died with no regrets, because I knew, even if I was gone, you would be okay. Do you have any regrets, Silver? You can't possibly be happy being dead. Well, yeah, actually, I died right after I thought I found a new place to call home. Even though I was tricked by Mephilus, they still accepted me as one of their own when I had nowhere else to go. Then you know what you gotta do, right? Silver, it's not your time. You must go back. Go back to your new friends, your new world! You're right. I can't just accept what happened. They're all waiting for me! That's a good boy, Silver. <laughs> See, I knew that one day you'd be strong. Now, use that strength to protect the people you care about, just like I did. I promise. Goodbye, Gold. Never forget, no matter where you go, I'll always be with you. Go get him, little brother. Whoa! Silver! <laughs> hey, hey, everyone! What did I miss? <laughs> You're such an idiot! Never do stupid shit like that again! Uh, ow! N not so tight! Can't breathe! No! Sorry! Morning, Silver. Did you have a good nap? I... I'm really glad you're back with us, kid. Sonic! Shadow! Thank you. <sighs> I'm so glad that worked. Oh there! I got gotcha. you. I hope... I was able to be useful this time. We couldn't have done it without you, Takal. Now, go rest up, okay? What is this nonsense? Ah, so you managed to revive the boy. How quaint. You can now witness the end of days together. Are you bumbling idiots? Hurry up! I'm getting killed out here! So... That's Mephilus' true form? A corruption of it, formed from fusing with infinite. Sonic and I could manage him ourselves. We need three Mobians that know Chaos Control to defeat him in the past, present, and future. If we all use our super forms, I know we can do it! Super form? Huh? I can't explain how, but I know what that is! It's time, then. Are you ready? Yeah! Time to rock and roll! Prepare for the end, as I smite you with my everlasting darkness! Uh, finally! It's all you know. You're the fastest thing alive. You sure do like to take your time. Oh, you miss me that Leave much? It to me. Very funny, you cocky rodent. Don't worry, Doc. Once I'm done here, I'll be sure to spend some more quality time with you. If you two are done with learning, We've got a god to kill. Normal attacks won't work on Dark Solaris, but I think that light it's protecting might be a weak spot.
Sonic. Time to rock and roll! Wow! This power is incredible! So this is the Super State? Be careful, though. If you run out of rings, there'll be curtains for all of us. Focus on your version of Solaris. We'll give the signal whenever we need time to gather rings. Your turn. Leave it to me. What? That actually hurt. Whatever you're doing is working, you three. Keep it up. You'd be arrogant enough to call yourself a god. Guess I'll become a godslayer after I take you down. Your turn. Leave it to me. Good luck, Sonic. Time to rock and roll. All right, let's have some fun, Dark Solaris. Did we do it? No. That was far too easy. Faceless creatures! You are far beyond my salvation now! Eternal suffering is all that remains to you! Uh-oh. I think we hurt its feelings. Damn! Did it not work? No. It looks... different now. Even I can feel the change in energy it's having. Sensors indicate a sudden spike in Phantom Ruby energy emitting from Dark Colossus Core. That must be it. That must be where Infinite and Mephilus' fuse rubies are. Sonic! Shadow! Silver! Shatter those rubies! Show those cranks what you've got! Your turn. Leave it to me.
It's all you, Shadow. Understood. That's about it. Honestly, if you don't mind, I think I might take a few days off after all this nonsense. You guys fought a f***ing god? More or less, yeah. Wow. Sorry, that's just a lot to take in. Plus, didn't you say you had a guy from the future with you? Hey! Can I ask him if people ever start acknowledging that Persona is a spin-off series of Shin Megami Tensei in the future? Uh, what's Persona? Anyway, let the commander know that we'll be ready to return to work by the 22nd. I'm gonna sign off now. Yeah, yeah, I got it. But I still got quest- Hanging up now! So, where are you off to now? With the current threat neutralized, I must continue hunting down Eggman. Oh yeah, that Eggman guy must run off somewhere after the world returned to normal. I know you guys say he's evil and all, but he helped us defeat Mephilus and Infinite. I should at least thank him. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. The doctor can't stay away from drama. He'll be back. Sounds like you guys are like, frenemies or something? That's not even a real word. Yet, that's so accurate. 
If everything is settled, then I will be on my way. All right. <laughs> you know where to find us if you get lonely. Affirmative. Shadow. Rouge. No matter what the future holds, the ties that bind us together will never be severed. He goes on and on about destroying things, but he's such a softy. The ties that bind us. Yes, may they never be severed. Ah, <sighs> well, this has been a crazy weekend. I say it's high time we vacay somewhere. Somewhere cold, right? My, my, you sure do know how to please a girl. So kid, wanna come along with? Huh? Me? There isn't anyone else around besides us, right? Besides, someone's got to chaperone you around. Hey, I'm not that young. When we return, you could stay with us back at HQ. Wait, you mean like a home? Yeah, pretty much. Haha, <laughs> sure! I will waste this new life everyone else gave. I want to see the world and help more people! For gold! And Blaze's sake, too. <laughs> then let's go. Off to a new start. Thank you, Shadow. Miss Rouge. Okay. Rule number one. Don't call me Miss. I ain't that old. So, does that make me an old man, then? <laughs> Customs are so strange. I can understand a funeral for the princess being this grand, but they plan to follow it up with a festival? It's not as strange as you may think. Death is an ultimatum, and while it is appropriate to mourn, it reminds us all how important the value of life truly is. Some people want to be happy with each other after a tragic event. So I get why this kingdom is like that. You think they'll be okay? We haven't known them long, but I think Dorothea and Gustav can take care of things. Yeah. Actually, I just noticed. Where's Sonic? Did he go after Eggman again? Who knows? Shadow and the others left too, so I guess they have their own stuff to deal with. I really should be heading back as well. Though I suppose it wouldn't hurt if I stay with everyone for a little while longer. Ugh. Sonic should really be here, you know. It's kind of rude to just bail on us like that. Shh, it's starting. Beloved people of Soliana, we gather here today to mourn the memory of our late princess. She was without an heir, and as such, the title was shifted unto myself. I do not expect compliance right away. I understand the pain everyone must be feeling. Her height... No. Elise was... a dear friend of mine. She was my sister in both love and in arms. The weight I now carry... is unimaginable. One which I would never wish upon anyone. But we need not forget her love and compassion for this kingdom. She was always our guiding light, and that flame, while weakened, has not been extinguished. Elise was our eternal flame, who, even in death, now burns ever stronger. Not just in me, but in each and every one of you. Look at how far we've come. We've survived the calamity that befell us last month. The horrible monsters that took our ruler from us, and even endured the wrath of that false god who threatened to engulf the world. Yes, we are strong, because we all stand together. Elise and her friends have taught me that lesson. Elise gave us all this day, and all of the days that are to come. Only together can we recover from our sorrow. And. Just as she always guided me, I hope you'll all one day let me be your light as well. We 
Nothing starts until you take action. And nothing will stay the same forever. The world is always changing, just like the people in it too. We're born into this world knowing that one day, it all comes to an end. One day, everyone we care about will disappear. But that's why we live our lives to the fullest. We make friends, grow families, save lives. So that even when we're long gone, we're still remembered by those that follow. No one is ever really gone. So long as we keep our bonds strong, we'll always find a way to live on in others. There's no time to worry about dying. And there's still so much more running left to do. And so we live our lives, and live for others, too. That's what it truly means to be alive. At least, that's what I believe in.
figured you would be here. You should go out more often. And what is our conversation for today, my friend? Black and Mephilus have been killed. Their rubies have also been shattered. Hmm, I see. Mephilus turned out to be such a waste. But to be frank, I didn't expect much from him. I take it that you predicted how things would play out? It isn't difficult, really. Compare the Mephilus of now to how he was before. Seeking revenge on the world with no true end goal other than to... Exist. He claimed to have wanted to live. But tell me, is existing the same as living? I can sympathize, I suppose. Ah, yes, that's right. Your people struggled to survive until I appeared, if I recall correctly. Every day was purely existing, such as the fate of the Zeni. Banished from the world because of the forbidden sin of intermixing species. I grow more scornful by the day for my people, being blamed for being born of sin. We cannot control our creation, nor our degradation. Perhaps things would have been different had I had met him first. Then again, perhaps not. I think there isn't enough influence in him to sway his destructive nature. But what of Black? Surely the ruby he gave to Mephilus would have contained enough of your soul to assimilate with him. And in there lies the issue. You need to remember that Black, while also being myself, is a version of me that did not reach true understanding. The fool was driven by revenge, and that was his undoing. And it goes without saying that Mephilus followed suit as a result of their echo chamber of similar personalities. Regardless of their... shortcomings, we are now two rubies short. We cannot move forward unless we possess all thirteen. I see no issue. We only need spend more time than anticipated is all. What makes you say that? Are you familiar with those fake chaos emeralds that race of plant creatures produced? What were they called again? The... Metarex? I am not. Was this before we met? Hardly. These base creatures attempted to create their own emeralds through... planet eggs they collected. Truthfully, they were on the right track. But they were heavily off the mark. Pardon me, but are you implying we can simply create more phantom rubies? That's not entirely correct. Because Black and Mephilus' rubies were combined, we can collect more fragments left from theirs to at least construct a singular ruby. However, their souls would be intermixed, and they would need a new vessel to inhabit. As for the 13th, a fabrication can become real should a planet egg be used as the basis for enough shards. So nothing has changed then? Indeed. We only need a planet egg the shards left over from Dark Solaris. There are still stragglers out there as well that have shards of the 14th. I will send the others to seek them out and collect them. Then should I head out? No. I need you for another task. Thankfully, gathering another planet egg won't be an issue, thanks to you enlightening that Ghost King. Though, when the time comes, I expect you to collect his paid dues. Understood. Of course. So, what is it that you need of me? I had mentioned that we will require vessels soon. Aside from Black and Mephilus' entangled souls, there may be others I would need to collect. Our people know much in the ways of robotics, but creating bodies is beyond my knowledge. I am aware of this. No. What I need of you is to collect him from me. Should he join our ranks, we'll be one step closer to achieving heaven. Bring me Miles Tails Prower.
this place again. Man, someone out there must have a hard-on for this place. Well, that's what I get for rushing headfirst into mysterious portals. Guess I better find a way out of here. What in the... Metal Sonic? It can't be you, right? No. This body used to belong to mine. But it's mine now. <sighs> Great. And another cast member from Invasion of the Body Snatchers, huh? Look, I don't want any trouble. I just wandered in here by accident. So, if you could tell me how to... By accident? Don't laugh. You have some nerves coming back after what you did. Huh? I was there, you know. I saw you kill him. I waited for this day. For the chance to see you again. My brother's killer. The Iblis Trigger! Wait a second! Iblis Trigger? Not this crap again! Listen to me! Whoever you're talking about, it wasn't me! It was a guy that looks like me! <sighs> Does anyone make you believe your lies? There is no escape this time! Vengeance is mine! incredible you all right what are you doing showing me mercy just finish me off god damn it would you stop if you give me a second i can explain everything to you so you were telling the truth all along can't blame you for not believing me though even i'm still dumbfounded by all of it <laughs> So, Mephilus lied to me then. Yep, that's right, uh, Mephilus? You've said enough. I'm sorry for causing you harm, but I need to go. After 
just take the answers from Mipples if I have to. Chaos Control! Wait! Just what the hell was that all about? I got a feeling. That's not the last time I'll be seeing him. <laughs>